the tightening, uh, the tightening points here. Fine, but it should be a minimum of three quarter inches. So, fine. So the bottom expands out. Uh, I don't want to go into too, too great a detail. All right, welcome back to Brazilian Wood Depot's YouTube channel. My name is Sam, and I'm going over a chart that I've put together, and I think it's going to be really helpful for a lot of people out there. I spend a lot of time talking about this topic and kind of putting it into a visual resource I think is going to be helpful, but I want to explain some things. The chart that we're talking about I'm calling BWD's Guide to Exterior Hardwood Applications by Species. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but basically as as you probably know we sell a handful seven technically different hardwood species uh, for decking and siding and exterior applications well these seven different species of hardwoods have different performance characteristics based on different conditions so i basically made a, a visual chart and scored the different species based on these different conditions so i'm going to shrink this video down so we can look at this chart together and i'm going to go through it from top to bottom all right, here's our chart, BWD's Guide to Exterior Hardwood Applications by Species. First thing you'll notice up here is that we are breaking it down into three categories, application, deck fastening, and sunlight exposure. Applications are decking, siding, tongue and groove ceiling, which is very popular, believe it or not, uh, and porch tongue and groove. They're slightly different because they have different exposures. Um, and then deck fastening, surface screws, groove for clips, camo edge fastening, and sunlight exposure, heavy, moderate, and little to none. So before we get into the species, because I'm going to go by each species and then go across, I want to mention a couple things. Everything gets a five because everything makes good decking, uh, but that's pretty broad because the conditions are going to get more specific. Uh, like I said, then we're going to get into fastening and sunlight exposure. I could have just not had this, but I thought it was nice to have it so everybody understands that they all make good decking, but then we're going to go more specifically into different conditions. Um, I guess that's the only thing I want to mention first. Let's just go ahead and start with Ipe then. Okay, so we already talked about decking gets, gets a 5, rain screen siding gets a 5, it's very stable. Ceiling, porch to TNG, everything good there. Surface screws, 5, good. Why would Ipe get a 4 on these and not a 5? Well, if it's my opinion, and it is my opinion, that surface screws is the best. Turn this down. If surface screws is the best way to install, it's the most secure uh, mechanical fastener um, available, then the other two have to be four. So does eBay do great with a groove board and do well with camo? Yes, they should really technically probably be able to get fives, but um, I still think surface screws are better, so I get it a five and these are four. Um, my colleague thinks these should be five, and that's fine. It works well, but surface screws is always stronger. Uh, Ipe does well in heavy, moderate, and little to no sunlight exposure because Ipe is the most stable and you don't have any problems, so that's pretty easy. Moving on to Kumaru. We already talked about this. Everything gets a five for decking. Rain screen siding, not as much because you have to use the clips and Kumaru is not as stable. Um, ceiling, don't have much sunlight exposure, does well. Porch TNG, we've been doing porch TNG with Kumaru for a long time. Typically the three and a half inch tongue and groove. We like that, that works great. Surface screws, that's the way to go with Kumaru for sure because it's not as stable. Uh, groove boards with clips, if it was in moderate sunlight exposure, it'd be fine. Heavy sunlight exposure, not so great. So it gets a three, which is kind of like my neutral number. Uh, one is like, I really don't recommend it. Five is I highly recommend it. And three is like neutral, eh, hit or miss. So for groove boards, it gets a three. Again, it would do fine if the, the sunlight exposure was minimal, but uh, that's why it gets that. Camo exposure, or camo edge fastening rather, also gets a three, again. And heavy sunlight exposure, probably not great. And minimal sunlight exposure, probably really just fine. Um, so that's why it gets a three. Heavy sunlight, if it's surface screwed, it's fine. If we want to use one of these systems, uh, I don't like it so much. That's why it gets a three. And in moderate sunlight exposure, you know, it's better than heavy. So four and then little to none, five. Because Kumar does well when it's not being blistered with sun. That makes, makes it want to act up a little bit. Okay, moving on to Garapa. Decking, we already talked about that. Gets a five, check. Oh, that's a weird check. Let me start that over. Here. Check. 
Uh, rain screen siding, check. Garoppa's very stable, like Ipe. It does well in all of these conditions. The only reason it gets a four here is because I don't have a whole lot of experience with using it as a porch TNG. Uh, it would be a five inch uh, TNG for porch decking. I I'm sure we've done it, but uh, just because I can't really remember doing it too much, it's just gonna get a four. I think it would do fine. It probably would earn a five. I just don't have the data to support it. Um, surface screws, like everything that you'll notice, everything gets five with surface screws. So, so does Garoppa. Uh, Garoppa does really well with grooved boards for clips. It gets a four. I don't really have any problems with it. Also gets a four with camo. Um, arguably they could, it could be getting a five, but I think four is fine. Um, it does well in all sunlight conditions. So it gets a five on all three. So Garoppa and Ipe, if I were to add them up, probably would have the highest scores. Uh, Garoppa is underappreciated and um, very cost effective. So I always try to remind people about Garoppa. All right. Moving on to Tiger Wood. Take a sip of water. Okay. And decking gets a five. We've already talked about that. Rain skin siding, I have a lot of experience with it. It gets a four, not quite as stable as Ipe. So it's going to get a little ding there, but still gets a four. It's pretty good. Uh, ceiling, we've done a lot of ceilings with tongue and groove, and they look awesome. And... Uh, as you can see, most of them, most of these get a five in ceiling because ceiling doesn't get much sunlight exposure just by nature. So um, Tigerwood also gets a five there. Porch TNG, don't have a whole lot of experience with a five inch Tigerwood. I mean, I know we've done it probably many times. Um, I wouldn't expect there to be an issue and I've not heard of any issues, uh, but since I don't have as much data on it as I do like the Ipe and Kumaru, I'm just gonna get it a little ding as a four because I just don't have as much data on it. Surface screws, like everything else, five. Groove boards with clips, yeah, if it's if it's a moderate, if it's one of these sunlight conditions, then yes, then maybe it's a four. But if it's this sunlight condition, then it's probably a two. So overall, Tigerwood gets a three, kind of neutral on it, depending on sunlight exposure. Uh, camo edge fastening, yeah, yeah, not so much. Especially in these two sunlight conditions, heavy and moderate. It's definitely a two. In little to none, uh, it might even get a four in little to none sunlight condition. Um, so, uh, all right, let's go to the conditions themselves. The reason that it gets a one in heavy sunlight condition is because you start losing the black veins that run through and that are so characteristic for Tiger Wood. If you're gonna lose those in a matter of months or a few years uh, to an all gray color, then what's the point of using Tiger Wood in the first place? Not to mention, Tiger Wood is not one of those that is very pretty when it turns gray. Like, for instance, Purple Heart, which is why Purple Heart gets a five. Um, so overall, heavy sunlight conditions, I always advise people against Tiger Wood. Some people don't listen to me, and presumably they're happy with it, but I generally I don't recommend it. Uh, same logic, going into moderate. Moderate's better than heavy, but still don't recommend it. It does fabulous in little to no sunlight conditions. It holds its color, it keeps its black veins, and... Uh, it works really well. Good. Moving on to Masa, which is short for Masa and Duba. I just didn't want to type it all in. Um, all right. Decking five. Yeah, we know that. Rain screen siding five. Good. Yes. We'll have a lot, pl plenty of experience and never really any issues. TNG ceiling. Everything gets a five except for one of them. So yes, Masa gets a five and I have experience with it and it looks great. Uh, porch TNG. Don't have much experience with it. For a porch TNG, again, like I keep saying, I'm sure we've done it many times, but I just don't really have the data in my mind. Of, uh, so anyways, uh, it, it, it could probably earn a five, but because the data is not there to support it, four. Surface screws, just like everything else, gets a five. And it doesn't really typically have any problems with groove for clips or camo edge fastening, especially in moderate to little sunlight exposure. I would probably give it a three. I'd probably give it a three under heavy sunlight conditions for these two methods of fastening. Um, actually, I have a cool line I can use for these two methods of fastening under this condition is probably a three. But those, but these two method, methods of fastening in these two get a four and a five. Uh, that may have been more confusing than anything. Anyways, uh, heavy sunlight condition, Masa Duba generally does fine. 
Um, and then, of course, in the other two conditions, Master Duba does fine. Good. Moving along to the maybe the oddball of the group here in terms of scoring, of course, five here. Wow, our only one, and there's some reasons for that. Uh, one, we're assuming that rain screen siding is going to have uh, moderate to heavy sunlight exposure typically. These two things typically go together. Um, so therefore, and Purple Heart, just very similar to Kumaru, is just not that stable. Um, so therefore, and not only that, it's purple. So most people don't want purple siding. So all of that considered, it gets a one. We really don't do much Purple Heart siding which I'm not surprised about. Um, we have done a little bit of it. But anyways, it gets a one in rain screen siding. Uh, ceiling TNG, well, it goes from purple to brown quickly in sunlight, but not in sunlight, it takes a long time, which is why people typically don't use it on the ceiling. They don't want a purple tiger wood ceiling. So for that reason, it gets a one. Performance would probably be fine, but purple ceiling, that's why it gets a one. Uh, also purple porch, that gets a one. Not so much performance, probably, but color. Surface screws, yes, we definitely want surface screws with Purple Heart, because as you can see, I'm not thrilled on these methods of fastening with Purple Heart, especially with these two sunlight conditions. So this one together is a no, but these two with this condition probably gets more like a Four. That makes sense. It gets a two in these conditions, but a four in little to no sunlight. Anyways, the reason it's going five, four, one here is because we want the sunlight to help it turn brown because most people don't want it purple. These two conditions will allow it to turn brown very quickly in a matter of weeks, maybe typically somewhere around six weeks. Um, maybe in moderate sunlight, maybe it'd be more like, I don't know, eight or 10. So that's the deal with Purple Heart. Most of these scores, most of these scores have to do with the fact that in these conditions, they're not turning brown, they're staying purple. Let me do a better job. In these type of conditions, especially this one, I'll put a lot of circles here, especially that one, it's not turning purple very quickly. It's gonna take a long time, so therefore they get ones. But we love Purple Heart in heavy sunlight conditions, boat docks, that kind of thing. Purple Heart's great. All right, for the last one, the Southeast Asian Hardwood Brown Balao. Of course, it gets a five in decking. Rain screen siding, four. Only because I don't have a whole lot of data yet, but everything seems fine. Um, but it would be in the, you know, a four in like, sorry, in these two sunlight conditions is better. So anyways, moving on. Uh, ceiling, we've done lots of ceilings. Fabulous, five. Porch TNG, we've done a lot of that. Five. Surface screws, like everything, five. Groove for clips, eh. It, it, Brown Balao seems to have a little more expansion contraction, especially in the heavy sunlight exposure conditions. So for that reason, um, it gets a three, like a neutral on these two fastening methods. As you can see, and I'm just realizing this now, they're all pretty much they get the same. If you get a lower score with grooves, it's pretty consistent. Tiger wood, oh yeah, that's true. I, I would prefer clips with tiger wood than camo. Anyway, I'm just pointing out that these two pretty much are always the same score across the board, uh, which I hadn't noticed before, but it is true. Let me clear this again. All right, so anyways, brown balao, uh, groove for clips and camo, I'm neutral on it because again, they it would do really fine here maybe a four or a five in that, that condition but uh maybe a two or a three in this condition so overall for these two fastening methods um i'm just going to stay neutral and say three really I'd, I'd prefer to see people using just face screws on brown malau um and then finally sunlight conditions yeah heavy it, te it tends to check a little bit more than other species all species check to some degree Brown Blau seems to do it a little heavier, so it's going to get a three and heavy. Um, same reason, moderate, it's not It's not going to experience as much checking, so it gets a four there, and it's doing fabulously in these low sunlight conditions like porch T and G and ceiling and covered decks, things like that, which I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything, but if you have any questions, give us a call. 
like I said, I'm trying to keep this video short. So uh, stay tuned. I'll have another video coming up soon, but I hope this helped. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to add a final disclaimer to this video and remind anybody who's watching that uh, the scores on this chart that I went over in this video, they're my opinions. My opinions that I've developed over the course of many years with lots of customer feedback. And uh, my opinions might be slightly different than somebody else here, um, even within Brazilian Wood Depot. Uh, my colleagues would probably fill in this chart slightly differently, and that's totally fine. That's okay. Um, I also like to put out there that I'm very conservative when it comes to this stuff because customers tend to call me if they have issues and not when everything's going great. So these scores are probably pretty aggressive in terms of being very conservative. I like things to go down and everything to be happy with everyone. So my advice tends to be pretty conservative. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Go out there and watch some more and uh, thanks for watching.